you know how all the lighting effects changes the texture changes to do that you need to create like multiple images you know image assets for the game and the game actual size becomes so big right like one gigabyte two gigabyte game size here what the developer has to do is just issue one command and the textures are generated real time during the game uh, like you can change effects like you know go from uh, uh, so like let's say it's like spring i can go to drought like increase the drought level let's say there's no water and you can immediately see all the grass goes away uh, bring back to spring and then like if i want to like increase the amount of snow in the area I can wow. change it and <laughs> this is really nice right and like you know make the pavement like mossy it becomes mossy so it's real time dynamic texture generation again it uses all four cpu cores and it will help developers develop games more quickly make games smaller such that they can fit in mobile devices mm -hmm. you don't need like large SD cards to store like you know uh, you know, high-end games. So I'm really excited about it, and the developers are, you know, also excited that they have this technology now for mobile platforms. Yeah. Kind of unlimited stuff. See a smartville, uh, smartville, uh, farmville uh, uh, adaptation with this. Yeah. <laughs> 